Hello, my name is Johnny Levan. I'm with Jocelyn Clark Controls, and I'm here today to talk about the JM Series Jockey Pump Controller by Jocelyn Clark. This is our JM Series. It's a non-metallic enclosure, and uh, it's very easy to mount as well as operate. There are two mounting flanges, one at the top of the control, one at the bottom of the control near the back, so they can be uh, mounted on a wall or J channel or whatever else you might need to uh, you have as your structure that you need to mount your controller to. Being a non-metallic enclosure it uh, covers the enclosure ratings of type 2, 3R and 12 just as it comes from the factory those are standard. If you need the 4 or 4X ratings it's a simple matter of changing the disconnect in the front of the controller, the disconnect uh, operator to get additional gasketing and so forth in that disconnect operator. One of the uh, uh, other neat features of this particular control is the operator on the front has a option or has a feature where you can pull out the center connection, put in a padlock or something of uh, your choice for a lockout tag out if you're working on the jockey pump itself, the jockey pump motor you can actually tag out the uh, control so that no one will start the pump while you're physically working on it. This also locks the disconnect so it cannot be turned on if you're doing other things on the sprinkler system and you want the jockey locked out for some reason. It's a good feature to have. Take your lock out, push the lever back in place, and now you can turn the disconnect to an on position or off position and this disconnects power from the control. In addition to this, once you've turned it on, you have the hand off auto switch, HOA switch, to go into the hand position, off position, or auto position. We'll talk more about that switch later. This jockey controller uses what's called a motor pr circuit protector, a motor circuit protector. This device has your short circuit protection and overload protection built into one device. The contactor is mounted down below and the motor circuit protector and contactor are sized based on the horsepower and voltage of the jockey pump, uh, the controller that you're ordering. The motor circuit protector has adjustments on the front for different uh, full load currents. So using this controller can be used within a range of full load current, different horsepowers, different voltages, but make sure that the full load amps of the applied horsepower voltage match up with your available adjustments. Now let's say you decided to choose different voltage for your, app, your controller for some reason. There's a control transformer as standard in all of the jockey pump controllers. It comes with a multiple tap primary. It has purple, orange, red, and black wires for 460 volt, 230 volt, and 200 volt applications as well as 115 single phase if you need that. All of these primary voltages drop through the transformer down to 24 volts which is the voltage applied to the coil and contactor through the pressure switches and through the HOA switch contacts. In addition to the transformer and motor circuit protector contactor we have a ALCO pressure switch. This is a PS1 series pressure switch which has a uh, cut, in, uh, cut in and a differential adjustment giving you the ability to set two different points of cut in and cut out. You can set the cut in and cut out uh, for your application. If you needed a wider differential you can change that. If you need it closer you can change that. Also we have the HOA switch contacts which are part of that operator we saw earlier in this uh, demonstration. Once you get your controller mounted and everything's wired, one of the first things we do is test the control. The best way to test initially is through manual operation. You want to make sure your HOA switch is in the off position, then turn on your motor circuit protector, moving from off to on, 
and when this happens power is available down to the contactor but the motor should not be running yet. Move the selector switch to the hand position. In the hand position the pump should start and immediately you move it back to the off position to stop the pump. Before the pump has a chance to fully rotate to down to zero a stop again, you want to look to check the rotation of the pump, make sure it's operating correctly. If it's rotating backwards, it's very simple to swap any two motor leads coming to the bottom of the contactor to correct the rotation of a three-phase pump. If it's a single-phase pump application, you will have to change rotation uh, at the motor conduit box itself. Three-phase can be done in the controller. Once you've determined that the rotation is proper and everything is ready, you can adjust your pressure settings to uh, approximately where you want them to be as far as cut in and cut out. Move the selector switch to the auto position and if you're below your cut in set point the pump should start. Pressure should build until you reach the upper set point. At that point the pump should stop. If you drain a little pressure from the system down below the cut in set point pump should come on. Again, when the pressure reaches the upper set point, the pump should stop. If all that works correctly, then you've achieved what you're after. You now have a working JM Jockey controller controlling your jockey pump.